Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we'll do another episode of checking out your guys' solar systems but before we get into that I'd just like to um, take the time to just say um, thank you as, as always because um, yeah we are so close to 3,000 subscribers right now if I just go to the channel let's just go here I believe we are let's go come on, come on let me go if, it, if it's gonna work yeah we are 61 subscribers away from 3,000 and the end of the month is in two days, I think. So, yeah, it's a quite close, but let's see if we can get 3,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, subscribe if you're new. Helps on the journey to 3,000 subscribers, because we are so, so, so close. Let's try and get it before the month ends, because that would be amazing. And, yeah, and we actually hit 1.2 million views the other day overall. So, yeah, just a massive thanks to that for everyone who watches the videos. And, obviously, everyone who's already subscribed, huge thanks to you. And, yeah, hopefully um, you keep enjoying my videos. But, yeah, let's get into today's video. So, today we're checking out um, a solar system called um, Blue Solar System. We're checking it out from Gap Mario 181. So, I will leave um, a link to him down below. So, yeah, let's search that up. So, it's Blue, Blue Solar System. So, it's right here. So, there's my one there. But yeah, we'll check this out. So let's see what we got here. Now, I think this one was quite a lot of memory, so it could be quite a lot of stuff in this. Let's just see what we have to, um, well, let's see what we got. So, oh, okay, not too large, and I'm guessing the asteroids may make it a little more memory, but yeah, so this is what we have. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, so let's begin. So the first star, it's literally just called blue. Okay, so this is looking quite large, so we'll compare it to something like maybe Rigel, maybe? How, how large is this, guys? Seems pretty big, so Rigel, Rigel, Rigel. Okay, there you go. So there's a little comparison. Then Sirius as well. Yeah, so it's um around this sort of size. Around here, so. Yeah, and then obviously there's the sun. So it's quite a lot larger than the sun. 25 luminosity of the sun as well. 10,000 degrees. And obviously it's hydrogen since it's a star. So, yeah, there is blue. So that's our um star for today. So let's just get a look at the Hathaway zone. So it stretches out to this first asteroid belt here. So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so what do we have first? Let's go on labels. Right, so first up we have got Blanuk, I think that's how you say it. So a very, very um okay, so I'm zooming here. So yeah, we've got a um very, very hot planet with a very, very dark surface. So I'm guessing this guy Oh no no it doesn't absorb it does um reflect forty three percent light. I was thinking it wouldn't reflect any light, but yeah, forty three percent of light it reflects and it's six hundred and eighty degrees. So this is sort of a similar sort of um thing to Venus here, and it looks like it's a bit of a dark blue. Yeah, yeah, it is a dark blue, you can see there. So there is that. So um also, um, similar to Earth in radius, a little less in mass, like there. Um, there's its composition. So it's got a bit of water on it, but it's in plasma form. 33 Earth similarity, and then no life likelihood. So yeah, there's the first object of Blanuk. So there we go. Next up, we've got um, Bluta, okay? Yeah, because I'm guessing this is going with a blue theme, so everything's got to be blue. So here is this. So it's an Earth-like planet at 35 degrees. Okay, looking good. So it's a little larger than Earth in mass and radius, as you can see. Um, there's its stats there, and then um, let's check down here. So 22 life likelihood here, and an 88.3 on Earth similarity. Okay, 35 degrees, so it's um, relatively warm here. And what's a day cycle? Okay, 23 hour day, so a little quicker than what Earth is. So let's um, speed this up and let's um, have a look. So that is a good look of the planet there. So it's going for a nice blue, um, blue theme, obviously. So there we go. There's just a look of it. So nice mixes of blue on the um, elevation levels there. So looking very nice indeed okay no moons yet not seen any moons okay so let's see what we've got next now we next up we've got black tick okay so let's zoom in on here okay and this looks more of a um water free planet it looks like so there's just a look of it without the clouds and let's see here yeah it has no water okay it's 14 degrees but obviously it won't be breathable because i'm guessing there's no water or oxygen here so yeah, there it is. Earth similarity is 71%, but yeah, nothing else here. Uh, ATM, yeah, it's not really got much of an atmosphere either. And it's relatively small as well. So yeah, there is Black Tick. So let's just get a good look at that. So there we go. Oh, the background's actually got a bit of red in it, actually. Yeah, you can see that red there. Oh, no, 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 that's just because of um, my mistake. It's just because of the... Um, what's it? Because of the Hattel Zone disc, okay? Then next up, we've got some Asteroid Belt, as you can see there. So it's got on flashlights. So you can see, yeah, there's an Asteroid Belt here. Okay, so let's see what's up next. So next up, we've got super powerful Hubble Space Telescope. Actually, they should probably add a Hubble in. This is a, um, is this a Cassini probe? Is that Cassini? Which one is this? I always get them mixed up. I think that's Cassini. Let me, uh, let's have a look here. Cassini, Cassini. 
Um, yeah, it is Cassini, but it's being made smaller. Okay. Yeah, so we've got um, the super powerful Hubble Space Telescope. <laughs> so, yeah, so there is that. So it's just chilling in the um, outer sort of part of the system here. How far away? 23.7 AU away already. Okay. So there is that. Okay, I'm guessing next up we've got some gas giants. Okay, let's see what we got next. So next up we have um, was uh, Wazira, I think that's how you say it. So 56 AU in its orbit is changing as well. Let's just get a uh, look here. It's got a nice blue trail with it as well. Very nice. Looks like that was um, a Kepler 22b or something at one point. And it looks like it's got a Titan orbit in it as well. So there it is. it's more of an ice giant, as you can see with the um, water. Got quite a lot of water. It's not too large. Yeah, this is an ice giant. If we just compare it to Uranus, for instance, there. So it's, a, it's a very similar size to um, these guys here. And obviously Planet 9 as well. So yeah, this, it's an ice giant. Um, there's its um, size, so it's not too large, as you can see there. I think that is a little larger than Uranus, actually. Yeah, Uranus is 25, this is 26. Um, surface temperature of one, minus 190, so it's a gas giant, it's obviously cold here. And it is quite from the far, far from the star as well. You can see it is quite dim here, it's not very bright. So yeah, there we go. Uh, materials, okay, we've already seen that. We don't need to look at the Earth's reality since it is a gas giant. Okay, next up we've got um, Naman. So this is obviously a Titan surface, or Titan atmosphere, as you can see. And it's got the Titan texture below as well, very nice. So yeah, there we go. It's got a 1.02 ATM, so the atmosphere has been changed, I think. So yeah, that is that. Oh, it's obviously been made a little larger than what Titan is, since it is almost the size of one Earth. Oh, no, it is. It's 1.01 Earths in radius, and then mass it's 0 0.9. So almost it's similar to Earth in um, mass and radius. Very, very close. 34.5% Earth similarity. There's no life like you could hear, obviously, because it's too cold. There's no water either. But yeah, there is that. So there is Naman. Okay, so that's the first moon we've seen today. Okay, anything else? Or is that it? Okay, no, no, that's it. Alright, cool, so a nice little um, short system to do today, but yeah, there we go guys, so that is the Blue Solar System by, um, um, what's it, I keep forgetting your name, yeah, Gap Mario, yeah, so yeah, that is um, his system, so I will leave um, it down below, um, or leave a link to him down below in the description, like always, yeah, Gap Mario 181 so yeah, apologies for me forgetting your name there, but there it is, so yeah, here's a um, comparison of all of the objects, so we've got our massive super big star here, then we've got our one gas giant, as we can see here, and we've obviously got um, these two here. Wait, where's this one? Wait, we didn't see this. Where? How far? Is this really far away? Oh, it is. Wow, look at that. So this one has been ejected out of the system. It looks like so. Yeah, this guy's pretty far away. Lucky um, I use chart mode so we can actually spot this. But yeah, look how far away this guy is. So it's just completely dark here. The only thing that's lighting up is the background. But look how far away it is. Yeah, this guy is um. Probably been out of the system a long time. Yeah, it's completely been tossed out. Look at that. Wow. So trails. I oh, know we can't see it, but I'm guessing it used to be quite far out anyway, but it's just been completely tossed out of the system. It's very far away. Yeah, so um, that's the last little object, um, I believe. So let's just zoom back in on it. So here we go. Yeah, so then here's this object. We've obviously seen these guys here. There was our first planet, which is um, Blanock there. And then the second planet, which was Black Tick. And then the last thing was the um, little telescope. So... Yeah, there we go. Nice little um, system, short but sweet. Put it that way. So, there we are. Let me know, um, or let us know what you think. So I'm pretty sure um, Gap and Mario will be interested to hear what you have to say in the comments as well. So, yeah, there we go. So, um, that is that. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, it helps on the journey to 3,000 before the next month because we are so, so, so close. But we have quite a little time left. So let's see if we can get that because that would be amazing. Also, yeah, cannot thank you guys enough. And there will be a live stream at 3,000 subscribers at some point. So, yeah, we should have it by next week. So maybe they, maybe we'll be doing the live stream next week then. So, yeah, there is that. And, yeah, that's pretty much everything I wanted to say, guys. So, yeah, make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And, yeah, leave a comment as well think, um, with your thoughts on this system. But, yeah, there we go. So make sure you guys all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Oh, God, a stupid message came up so I couldn't hit stop recording. But, yeah, see you guys next video.